A lot of people talk about the next crash. What should you do about it? Well, if you have ever tried to lose weight, you've already learned a lot. You may know that when you starve yourself, your body actually goes into a starvation mode and tries to keep on to everything. As soon as you stop the starvation period, your body gains the fat again. And it's a pendulum. You go back and forth. So what you should do if you try to lose weight is keep eating, just smarter. Now, the same is actually true in stock investing. You should keep investing despite the crash. Because you don't, if you don't, if you stop investing and you put your portfolio into starvation mode, something really bad happens. You're not, going to get, you're not going to get any dividends that help you lower the impact of the crash. But even worse, if you haven't timed it correctly, and nobody can, you may actually wait and wait and wait and suddenly go, want to go back into the market when it's at its highest point. So it's a lot riskier. But if you invest regularly, even though you know a crash is going to, become, going to come, it means you're buying on the way up and you're buying again on the way down. Your average stock price is going to be lower and that's good for your portfolio. So remember, the best way to avoid a crash is to ignore it and just invest regularly. Now there's something else that you can learn from weight losing, losing weight. Don't weigh yourself every day because your body weight goes up and down. And every time your body weight goes up, you're disappointed. Now the same is true in stock investing. It's just the other way around. If you look at your portfolio every day, you have a high risk that it just went down and you're going to be disappointed. And that makes it more difficult to stick with your rule to regularly invest. So don't you look at your portfolio every other day? Look at it maybe once a year. That would be ideal. And invest regularly. That's the best way to avoid the impact of a crash. I wish you good luck investing. Thank you.